it's another week that's went past. Um, where does the time go, honestly? Well, there's not really much changed here for me. Um, we're still under the lockdown in Scotland, so we're still waiting on things opening up properly. And um, because of this, I've not really been able to get out to any of the shops or anything like that. So I've been very much relying on eBay to deliver the, the goods for me, I guess. Um, but I still have managed to do a good uh, wee bit of shopping, I'm afraid. Um, just the bank balance is, is kind of feeling it a wee bit, it has to be said though. Uh, but anyway, I'll show you what I've got uh, this week. First game is Bank Panic. Now this is actually the German card version of the game. Um, and I was able to get this off of the Sega Galaxy uh, forum on Facebook. And um, the reason I went for this is because it was the last card game that I actually needed. And um, normally if you look at the UK version or the European version of the game, it's it costs between 60 and 65 pounds I've seen it going for recently. And I just thought, I don't really understand why this one's any different from any of the other ones. Um, but yeah, so I seen this on Gal uh, Galaxy Facebook and, you know, I thought that would do me. You know, it's a copy of the same game. I could even get a, an insert printed just to cover up where it says Die Sega Card. I don't know, you can just imagine Arnold Schwarzenegger saying that, can't you? Da Die Sega Card. That sounds nothing like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but never mind. But yeah, anyway, um, inside, you see the differences here. It's, it's Bank Raup. Um, but the actual card itself is Bank Panic and it's all complete and everything, so I'll have no problem, you know, picking up a, a spare Bank Panic manual and putting that in there and possibly getting another cover for it. So I'm happy with that and it's got the, 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 the hanging tab that normally goes missing along with the other card games. So yeah, I've done, I felt as if uh, a deal of uh, 25 quid, I think, was not too bad for that one instead of paying 65 um, on eBay. So happy with that. Um, I should have actually done this one before Bank Panic, but never mind. It's actually my hero on the card uh, format as well. Um, I'd ordered this probably about three weeks ago or something, and uh, it just... I don't know what the, the, the hold up with it was, but again, this was another, uh, oh wait, this was an eBay pickup actually, and I think it was about the same, I think it was between, I think it was £22 actually I paid for this one, um, but yeah, so technically not my last card pickup, but you know, it was the last in arriving. Um, this one is complete, but it does have, somebody's replaced the Oh, you can't see it very well. Somebody's replaced the insert holder, uh, the kind of sleeve for the card. That's that's third party. That's not the original one. The manual's in there, um, and it's even got one of the uh, what's it called? I'm getting something out. One second. It's even got one of those little catalogs in there. You know, um, so it just goes to show that my hero is a game that nobody plays. Um, but yeah. I've already got this on cartridge by the way, I'm just buying this stuff because I need to get the card version for some reason. It's a sickness, I can't help it, what can I say? Um, so yeah, anyway, that, that was my kind of card collection complete now, um, and I'll be happy with that I think, uh, for the European stuff anyway. Uh, the next game I got, staying with the Master System, is Daffy Duck. Daffy Duck in Hollywood, more specifically, actually. It's uh, it's one of the later releases uh, from 1994, according to this, and it's quite hard to come by. Um, I actually ended up having to pay a wee bit of money for this. Again, I think this, this was, I think this one was 30, maybe 33 at the most. Can't remember with postage added onto it. Um, yeah, so a bit more than what I would normally want to spend for a game that actually doesn't come with a manual, but they don't come up often, that's the thing. Um, and it just seems like you have to kind of take what you can get just now if you want to collect the Master System stuff, so it'd be one of those those things, unfortunately. I'll probably pick up another complete copy in the future and then sell this one if I can, but you know, I'll be happy with it until then. It's actually a really good game, um, quite surprisingly, for a, a late release and nice animation and colours and things like that, but, but yeah, pretty good. 
Um, next one, Bomber Raid. Um, this is the American version of the game. I actually already have the, Euro the European version of this game as well, so I don't know why. I just wanted to get the Black Activision American version as well. Um, paid a wee bit more than what I, I expected to pay for this. I think I paid something like uh, 13 quid for this in the end, and I was a bit disappointed when I got it because it's got these, you can probably, can't see it very well there, but you can see it's got kind of watermarks on the on the cover and on the back of it as well. It's not too bad, it's not uh, it's not terminal, but and it's a bit faded as well, but it's all right, I guess. Um, it's inside though, you can see the cartridge label is a bit busted up, which is unfortunate. And again, I don't have the manual for it, so a bit gutted about that, but you know, again, it's it's just it's nice to have these things, but I didn't need to get this at all. I don't know why I got it, but I just like the look of the the black cover, um, and it was on my list. I put it on my list for the Master System games I had to collect. Uh, the the next one I've got again is another Master System one. Doing well with the Master System this week is California Games Two. Now this is a really nice copy of this game. It's inside. It's very much very good nick inside. It looks new, even smells new. I wonder if it tastes new. No, uh, I'm not going to try that. But, you know, it's, it's really is in quite stunning condition. All the colours are all really nice in the front of it and everything. It doesn't look like it's had any sun exposure or anything like that. Even the, you know, the plastic on the outside is silky. You can, you can kind of caress it a wee bit. Maybe not too much, actually. Um, that's yeah, a bit strange that actually. Stop doing that. Um, but yeah, happy to get that one in the collection. And I think that one cost me. I think it was quite surprisingly, it was nineteen pounds. So that was a, a good pickup, I think, and that was another eBay. Um, but of course, I've added postage onto that as well. And probably it was actually close up to twenty-two or something like that. But never mind. It is how it is just now with the lockdown and. Uh, you know, there doesn't seem to be a great deal of people trading in Master System stuff just now, but one of those things. Um, so that's all my Master System that I got this week, and I felt as if I've done quite well this week. But, you know, um, the, the, this, the pickings are getting slim for me on the Master System collection at the moment. Um, I did get something else though, I'll show you. Actually, Injustice on the Xbox 360. Um, and the reason I got this is because we've been, obviously, with the Snyder Cut coming out for a Justice League, we've been playing a lot of Injustice, Injustice 2, and I said we, I mean me and my boy, um, we, we like watching these kind of things and we play them and, you know, um, we were playing Injustice 2, and he was asking me, why, why is Shazam not in this one? I said, well, I'm sure from memory that he dies in this game. I think he does anyway, so I had to go and buy it again to prove it. I already had this a couple of years back, but I got rid of it for some reason. I don't know why, it was a really good game. Um, it's basically Mortal Kombat with um, DC Universe figures in it, so it's a pretty fun game. Um, and it only costs, this this copy was it was £2 or something like that. So Xbox is, is quite appealing just now, to be honest with you, when you look at the prices of these things. Um, I don't know why I'm collecting Master System when they're so cheap and available. Um, the last one that I've got for today is something that I didn't buy. Um, it's something that my wife bought me. And I'd asked her, um, because it was my 40th, and the, the, the start of the month there, 3rd, 3rd April, it was my 40th, and I said to her, I says, what can, can, give me some ideas of some things I can get you. I says, well, you know, if you can get me, um, I quite liked to, uh, to play that uh, Xeno Crisis. It's made by uh, Bitmap Bureau, and it's, you know, they released a Mega Drive cartridge. I thought that'd be quite nice to get that, and get the original version. Hmm. My wife actually um, said, oh, £55, is it? Hmm. So guess what she done? She only got herself off onto AliExpress and got the knockoff version. Xeno Crisis, the knockoff version. It's actually not too bad a knockoff, to be honest with you. 
I mean, the case is all wrong. It's one of those universal cases, but it, it looks quite nice. And you'll open it up. Um, oh, you can see that the cartridge just falls out. It's inside one of these, and it doesn't even fit inside the actual holder. So there's no kind of collection value from this at all. It purely is just something to play, which I could have just downloaded the ROM, to be honest with you, but... It is nice to have this. Trouble is, it doesn't sit on the shelf with any of the other Mega Driver Master System stuff because it's too big. We've got a good. Let's see the difference. So it sticks out like a sore thumb, like one of those early EA games for the Mega Drive, you know, Populous. It stands head and shoulders above all the other titles. So it's a bit annoying on the shelf looking like that, but never mind, it's still a. A good game, uh, you know, I don't know, I would certainly give these guys my money, um, even though I do think £55 is a bit expensive, but I understand the, that's the, the cost of doing business. See, it's got the um, Aliens inspired artwork and what looks like Jill Valentine from Resident Evil on there, um, doing her thing, killing Xenos for once, interesting. But yeah, that's all my pickups for this week. I think I spent enough. I think I spent a fortune. Um, my Master System collection is just at that point now where I just can't get anything cheap. So it's only going to get this more expensive from this point forward. Um, I did join that game cycle this week as well and traded off a couple of spares and things like that I've had. So I'm waiting on some game back from that. So um, next week I'll maybe have some more kind of 360 stuff and you know nothing special PlayStation 3 stuff but you know, it's all stuff that I don't have so I'm happy always happy to trade stuff that I do have doubles of for stuff that I don't have so yeah that's that's pretty much me um that's that's my pickups for this week can't guarantee that next week is going to be uh, many pickups as that that was quite a good week for me especially considering the lockdown but one of those things Anyway, thanks for your time, thanks for watching, catch you next time.